development is actually building this spirit of entrepreneurship, right? Like they really, we want to focus on that. We want to foster that uh, um, innovation community. So of course, as part of our mandate is really to focus on these people and how we can help. So Tim, I talked to you about the Home Depot thing, right? I think that having credibility of being in a place like the Edmonton Research Park, I think, is an important first step. Uh, it was the very first thing that I did. I knew from the start that this would be the kind of place that I would want to uh, set up my company. I didn't want to run it out of my home, my home office, and uh, it was the very first thing I did. Although you'd never want to truncate and not have a data point show up. Just being in an environment where uh, there's all this talent here, uh, there's all that rush to get a, get a good product out, you know, it keeps us more motivated um, to come in here and work every day uh, towards our project. We came here, we were really impressed by, uh, you know, the building, uh, the facilities they have. I mean, you know, walking down the that red set of stairs, which resembles uh, the San Francisco Bridge, that by itself is pretty cool. You feel like you're in the Edmonton Silicon Valley. It's been a huge advantage to be located in a place like the Edmonton Research Park. It's really helped us to be able to network with business executives as part of the park who have connected us with other businesses and community members outside of the research park, being able to guide us to our success. And as well, the actual members of the research park have helped us both from uh, helping of understanding the business and common problems, as well we're able to work with the other businesses to actually build our products. I said to you we're in the field or leaders in the field of biofilm microbiology, it may not mean too much, but if I tell you that we're helping medical device companies solve the problem of hospital acquired infections, then I probably have your attention. As we bring clients in, medical device companies from all over the world, and without exception, they all say, wow, this is a very impressive facility that you have here, Ken. So that's, that's a, a testament from the world's leading companies in medical devices. Study. It's a pride for us that they actually don't want to leave this space because they know it's an incubator, but because of the synergy and, of course, the access to um, a good market, uh, below market rate, right? So it's not just, just the bricks and mortar, it's all the resources that you and a startup company would actually have, want to have access to. They're just, it's just endless amount of um, assistance and, of course, the people in the startup and the, the family that we've created so far, it's just a phenomenal experience for everybody. Our primary focus is on health analytics, and we have also brought uh, to the market a full-fledged electronic medical record system last year. The park management here has been tremendous in helping facilitate our growth with things like, uh, you know, different office facilities, expansions when we needed it. So it's been uh, really important in a number of ways. So about our deal, I will be arriving in Minneapolis next week, and just want to make sure that everything's taken care of. The fact that we have this park in Edmonton that is doing this and allowing collaboration between the University of Alberta, the Edmonton business community and companies, startup companies like ours to make a go is, is very, very important. And I think the local delivery of services as provided through Tech Edmonton, uh, an affiliate of uh, Edmonton Economic Development Corporation and Research Park, all comes together to be a very powerful uh, uh, catalyst to allow companies like ours, ours to succeed. Uh -huh.